Hey, what's going on everyone? Nick here and welcome back to the channel. So this news story broke earlier today from The Hollywood Reporter and it's something that I wanted to cover on the channel because I'm a big video game guy and this franchise in question is actually pretty close to one of my big interests and one of the games I loved on Xbox and that is Gears of War. Now Gears of War was an old Xbox exclusive. I believed it launched back in 2006. That was the first game. Then it went on with Gears of War 2. That was the one that really took the franchise off the first game was kind of you know relatively low-key people liked it and it did well but I think it wasn't until the second and then the third game which was huge it really propelled it to be one of the big titles for Xbox and it launched many more spin-offs and everything and I believe the franchise is still somewhat going on to this day in terms of like live updates and you know the multiplayer and stuff for the more recent games and apparently according to the Hollywood Reporter after months of long negotiations in the competitive environment with streamers it looks like Netflix has nabbed the media rights and is partnering up with the coalition the Canadian game developer behind the franchise to bring Gears of War to live action and an adult animated series and if everything goes well more stories from that world would follow on Netflix right now no filmmakers or producers are attached to either of the projects with the video game franchise getting a fresh start after several big studio attempts at getting a live screen adaptation For those of you guys who don't know Gears of War it's set on a planet on the brink of societal collapse after a major civil war amongst humans when a monstrous threat in the form of underground creatures known as as the Locust take humanity to the verge of extinction. The game primarily follows Delta Squad, a ragtag fireteam led by a disgraced sergeant named Marcus Phoenix as he's now charged with leading humanity's last stand against these creatures. The franchise, like I said, is pretty big. Apparently it's sold over 40 million copies across six installments plus the spin-offs. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, Hollywood has been trying to get Gears of War into live action since 2007, when at the time, New Line Cinema actually had the rights for a brief period. And it's interesting because apparently Scott Stuber, who is attached to this project, is also part of the Netflix deal, and he was also back then with the New Line deal. So it's kind of weird, like a full circle type thing. I guess where he was you know involved with that project there was also another attempt set up at Universal Pictures but that never got past the script writing phase so this is one of those projects that's interesting to me because you know as a fan it's one of the things that I really would like to see in live action it's a game that lends itself perfectly to like a live action series or a movie with the right budget the right casting done properly but at the same time it also feels like it's about 10 years too late at this point you know, it's sort of like the Halo dilemma where that's another thing that I'm really close to. I'd love to see a movie or like a show done of it. And they did do it, but it didn't really turn out the way I was hoping it would. And ultimately, it was about a decade too late. You know, it was past its prime. You know, at this point, who's really clamoring for a Gears of War adaptation? I really don't know. And it's the same with Halo. You know, that game, that franchise was at its peak with Halo Reach and then Halo 4. And, you know, right around that time, you know, 2010, 2012. And now it's like it's sort of at an all-time low after the whole Halo Infinite incident. So it's uh, interesting times for sure. Uh, we also know that Mass Effect is another video game franchise that's supposedly getting a show at Amazon. There's also a Fallout show that's filming for Amazon. So a lot of video game stuff is you know in the mix as Hollywood shifts its sights from comic books to video game properties. Now drop your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you guys think about this news? Would you like to see a Gears of War movie? Do you think that Netflix could do it justice? I have, well, actually, now that I say that, I'm kind of looking at that recent Resident Evil show they made on Netflix, and now I'm getting very worried about the prospects of this Gears of War thing that could end up happening. It was because that Resident Evil show was a dumpster fire all around. So, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to think of this, and I guess we'll have to see casting and who they choose the director, the writer, you know, the creative team behind this. All of that stuff is going to have to come out before I even get an inkling of, uh, uh, interest in this project I guess you could say but like I said share your thoughts below if you guys are new to the channel and you like this video subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I drop new content like this if you want to hit me up on social media to talk about this news you can find me in the links down below and with all that being said I'll catch you guys next time